Hi everyone, it's Delilah from Love Disney Dolls, and today I'm going to share with you a personal project of mine that I've been working on for a while that's very dear to my heart. It's a series of custom dolls based on the characters of Kingdom Hearts, a video game franchise which combines the magic of Disney with the adventure of a Final Fantasy RPG. The first doll in my series of Kingdom Hearts customs is Xion, a character who was first introduced in the Nintendo DS spin-off Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. The base doll for Xion was a book party Lizzie Hearts doll from Ever After High. I chose Lizzie because she has the shorter body and I wanted Kairi, Namine, and Xion to all have the shorter body, while I would make an aqua doll that had a taller body, which um, I used Duchess Swan for her. Um, and uh, I of course have my own original character for Kingdom Hearts that I'd have to make a doll of, and she would have the middle-sized Ever After High body. Also, this Lizzie's hair is almost entirely black from the start, so that made it a little easier because I didn't have to reroute. So all I had to do was remove the red streaks in her hair, and I replaced it with some black hair that I had saved from another customized doll. After boil washing and trying to repart her hair, uh, I realized that her scalp was not thickly rooted enough, so I had to add more hair along the part line. I decided to leave the cutting and styling of her hair until after I repainted her face. So for the facial repaint, um, the first step was of course uh, removing the factory paint with acetone nail polish remover. After I did that, um, you really need to seal the vinyl of the face um, before you actually start painting on it. So what I do is I use Liquitex Matte Medium to seal the face. I simply dilute a little bit of the matte medium, you really only need a tiny bit, um, with a little bit of water. And then I use a makeup sponge to soak up a little bit of the matte medium mixture and apply it to the face only around the eyes, eyebrow area, and the lips, because that's where I need the most coverage. Once I've done three or four coats of the Liquitex Matte Medium on the face and it's all dry, I take out my watercolor pencils and I start drawing the outline of the face. For this repaint, since I was trying to capture the look of a specific character and the specific style that's used in the artwork for that game, um, I looked at images very closely, reference images, to make sure that I was getting the right eye shape, the right expression. I wanted to make sure that my the face that I was painting really conveyed that character. I'm using chalk pastels on a brush um, in order to do some blushing on her face and also to get a nice natural lip color. I'm not painting on lipstick, I'm just kind of brushing on the color that it looks subtle and neutral. So sorry about the lighting here. I did this repaint last summer before I knew anything about proper lighting in videos, so sorry. Since I'm using Liquitex Matte Medium as my sealant and not Mr. Super Clear, um, the watercolor pencils don't stick that well. So really it's just so that I can create the outline with the pencils and then I do most of the actual repaint with acrylic paints. Once I'm satisfied with the outline of the face, I'm gonna take my acrylic paints and my teeny tiny brush and I start by filling in the whites of the eyes. Really sorry that uh, it's kind of off camera in this part. In addition to not knowing much about lighting, I also was not very good at doing this on camera, so I am sorry about that. So once I've filled in the entire iris of the eye with uh, a dark blue color, I'm just working on creating a gradient effect by slowly layering lighter colors um, and trying to create some depth in, in her eye. I'm thinking with this lighting situation, you probably won't be able to see this, but um, as I was working on building up that gradient, I really tried to put in some different shades in there, like purples along with the blue. Um, 
and uh, it did come out pretty well, but you probably won't be able to see it that well on camera. The whole time I was painting this, I was listening to Kingdom Hearts music. Um, it has one of the most beautiful soundtracks for any video game ever. Of course, I'm, that's my biased opinion. Um, but I was also listening to Xion's theme a lot um, to try to get into the, the feeling of the character. And I feel like it helped, honestly. <laughs> So again, unfortunately, my hand keeps blocking the camera, and that's because um, this part especially is really precise. Um, what I'm doing is I'm taking my black acrylic paint now and going over the outlines that I did for the, um, the eyelash line and all of that stuff, the outline of the eye, and it's really hard to get that exactly right. Basically, the best thing to do is just take it really slowly, use short strokes, a, only a teeny bit of black paint on the end of the brush um, and just really take it slowly. It's the only way to, to make it look precise without messing up because I still mess up a lot. <laughs> so you can see that for the eyelashes, I'm using both uh, acrylic paint and I'm kind of going back with the watercolor pencil too just because it's so much easier to use the pencil, but it doesn't really create a vivid line on the vinyl the way that the acrylic paint does unless you are building up layers of color using um, you know sealants in between layers and stuff like that so um, that's why I'm kind of trying to alternate using both in order to create the most precise lines that I can. After adding all the details finishing up doing the eyebrows um, I added little pink a little bit of pink to the corners of her eyes for realism I put some shading on that white parts of her eyes um, to give them a little more depth. So after I finished all that, um, I added some gloss on her lips and eyes, and then her face up's pretty much finished. After cutting and styling her hair and making her a signature Organization 13 cloak, Xion is all finished. I struggled for a long time with trying to figure out how to find a tiny enough zipper that it would look good on this tiny cloak, and instead what I did was I finally just got this metallic thread and I embroidered on a zipper myself. Obviously it doesn't work, but it looks more like a zipper than a giant human sized zipper would, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. As for her boots, I got a little lazy and pretty much just made black socks, but you can't really tell. So, it's fine. Full disclosure, I actually made Xion first in my K Kingdom Hearts series of dolls because Xion is probably my least favorite Kingdom Hearts character, uh, and I thought it would be cool to start with her so I wouldn't feel so afraid of messing up. Um, in the process, I feel a little bit closer to the character of Xion. Um, at least, I think she is pretty. And, um... I'm pretty satisfied with how she turned out. Here are some photos of my Xion doll with the Namine custom doll that I also made. Unfortunately, I didn't film any of her process, so there won't be a whole video on her, sorry. But maybe when I make her custom shoes, because right now she's just wearing the shoes from Apple White Royally Ever After, something like that. Um, so yeah. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. I know the lighting wasn't great, but um, hopefully you like my repaint anyway. Please let me know in the comments below what you thought, and um, you can like and subscribe if you feel like it. Not, no pressure there. Um, and uh, please look forward to my other Kingdom Hearts dolls. I'm gonna make videos for most of them. Um, and here is a sneak peek of the next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!